A reporter named Michael Black, who works at a magazine called The Republic, meets a man in Louisiana named Isaac Jefferson to interview him about his life after Hurricane Katrina in Pointe à la Isaac speaks a little about his past life and then proceeds to show Michael some photos of his family and his past. One particular picture, which shows a black woman sitting in a chair, catches the eyes of Michael and asks about it. Isaac responds, saying the woman in the photo was Christina Eames, a photographer who had a relationship with Isaac 30 years ago before she moved to New York. Michael admires the quality of the photographs after Isaac tells him that Christina was also the one who took the rest of the photos. Isaac admits he feels guilty about letting Christina go and not contacting her. Michael suggests to Isaac to look for her, but Isaac feels that it has been too long and there is nothing but regret left for him. After their conversation, Michael leaves the place with an interest in knowing more about Christina. Meanwhile, in New York, a woman named May Morton goes to open a safety deposit box, which she inherited a upon her mother's death. The safety deposit box contained two letters and a picture. One of the letters was addressed to her and the other to her biological father. The picture was the same one Michael saw at Isaac's house. This meant May was Christina's daughter. May goes home and starts to read the letter. The letter begins with her mother's apology and it talks about her cancer. Right when it gets to the part where it talks about her love, May, who is not ready to hear about this part of the story, closes it and puts it back in her purse. Michael is back in New York and goes to the Republic. He asks his colleague to find out everything he can about Christina Eames and goes to meet May, who has been working as an assistant curator at Queen's Museum for two years. She tells him about going through her mother's archives after her death. She shows him a couple of photos from her mother's time in Pointe à la Hache and they speak a little about Christina. Maya describes her mother as someone who didn't like to stay in one place and didn't stay long with people. On the other hand, Michael speaks to her about Isaac and he points out Isaac's picture from the bunch of photos in the archives. May is surprised to see the picture Michael took while he was in Louisiana, as it was identical to the one she received with her letter. May and Michael also speak about how their past personal relationships didn't work out. The two show some chemistry in their conversation, which leads them to decide to see each other next time to talk more about Christina and Pointe à la Hache. That night, while May continues to read Christina's letter, a flashback takes her back to a date night between Isaac and Christine in 1984, Louisiana. On that day, Christina convinces Isaac to go to New Orleans to explore new things and have an experience of their own. Christina's love of adventure comes from her love of photography, which she takes seriously. Isaac drives her home, where she is confronted by her mother, who doesn't approve of Isaac because he is not rich. Christina is scared to admit the truth about her relationship with Isaac, so she tries to calm her mother down by simply stating she is just friends with him, but her mother doesn't believe her. Presently, May meets with her father and talks to him about her mother. She expresses her resentment toward her mother for not telling her about her past life and not paying attention to her when she was a child, but her father tells May to forgive her and accept her flaws. Meanwhile, Michael visits his brother's house and during their conversation, he admits to falling for May among other things. His brother, Kyle, however, advises him not to get into another relationship as he just ended his relationship recently, but Michael couldn't stop thinking about her and while listening to his recording of Isaac's conversation, he sees a chance to meet May. He attends a movie premiere at the Queen's Museum and asks her out for a drink. They have a good first date that ends with them having their first kiss. In 1984, Christina tells her mom that she is going to New Orleans with her friends and Isaac. Her mom questions her life choices and her hobby of photography. She ends up telling her to start looking for her place before her friends pick her up. Isaac, Christina, and her friends go to New Orleans, where they have a good time at a party. Isaac asks Christina to marry him, but she responds to him saying that she is not ready. Isaac accepts her answer, and they continue to have fun. They have a great night and end up sleeping together. In the present, things are looking good between Michael and May. She invites him to her home to help her move some of her stuff. He goes to her place and opens a song with a phonograph that she has not used since it was given to her by her father. They have some talk about his past relationships, which makes May laugh and the night turns out to be a great one. They sleep together for the first time, but they are woken from their sleep by a storm alarm. They head uptown to Kyle's place. They also have a good time with Kyle and his wife. May accidentally finds out about Michael's ex-girlfriend, Tessa, from the kids. They end up telling her that Michael was planning to marry Tessa before they broke up. 
This was an interesting subject, but she didn't ask Michael about it. Everyone goes to bed while it is still pouring outside, but May can't sleep, so she gets up and gets back to reading her mom's letter. After spending some time in New Orleans, Isek and Christine are living together, but they are not married because Christine still doesn't feel she is ready for marriage. Isek is content with what he has, but Christine wants something more. When he gets back from home, he sees her sitting on a chair with a couple of playing cards. Although Christine doesn't like her photograph being taken, Isek takes a photo of her stating she takes his photo all the time. That photo later ends up being the same one Christine left to May and Isak before she died. Christine tells him she wants to have a career in photography and wants people to look at her photographs and admire them. She asks Isak to move to New York with her, but he tells her he doesn't see himself living in New York. After spending some time in a dark room printing some photos, she goes to a bus station and takes off without telling Isak. In the present, after the storm subsides, Michael and May decide to take a walk in the quiet streets of New York. While walking, May asks about Tessa. He tells her they broke up a few weeks before they met, and now he is committed to her. Then he shares something unexpected. He tells her that he applied for a job in London and plans to move there. Then he tells her still wants to continue getting to know her, and she doesn't say anything different. Christine has found a new job after fighting for an assistant position. She calls her friend Denise to tell her the good news, but instead, she receives terrible news that her mother has passed away. At the funeral, Denise tells her another sad news. Although it has only been three months since Christine left, Isak had married another girl he used to be friends with. Denise takes Christine to see him, but she does it from a distance and doesn't speak to him. A few years later, Christine came back to New Orleans with her daughter. She visits her mother's house and takes a picture with her daughter. When she gets out, she meets Isaac, who last saw her four years ago before she went to New York. He introduces himself to May and invites them to his home for dinner, but Christine declines the offer saying they have a bus to catch. Isaac drove them to the bus station and they rode quietly to the bus station. She kissed him on the chick and left for New York. That was the last time she saw Isaac. She also remembered remembers her mother being emotional and crying at the bus station. During this time, May goes to her mother's house and meets Isak. After telling him that her mother had passed away one month ago, she gives him the letter her mother left for him. He is emotional after he hears Christine's death. Then, May tells him that the letter she received said that he was her father. Isak tells her he suspected, but he was too afraid to ask when she brought her home. He was married and she had a life in New York. He figured that if she was his daughter, she would tell him. May tells him her mother thought it would be easier if he didn't know. Isak apologizes for what happened in the past and asks her to stay for some boiled crabs, to which she agrees. Michiel, on the other hand, receives news that he got the job he applied for in London. He informs his boss and gets to work on finishing the article about Pointe à la Hache. He goes to New Orleans and surprisingly meets May, who has been staying with Essek for a while now. They have some conversation inside the house and go to Chrysotine's house at Pointe à la Hache. When they first arrived, the door was locked, but they went around the back into the dark room, where they reminisced for a while. Then, they go to a famous bar, the same one Christine and Isaac had gone to when they came to New Orleans. They have a good time there, and when May mentions moving or visiting this place, Michael takes her outside and tells her about his London job. May doesn't believe long-distance relationships are practical, but Michael wants to figure things out. May is back at Isaac's house. While she sits for a coffee, Isaac asks her what is wrong. She tells him that maybe she is more like her mother after letting Michael go. Then she asks him about the letter from her mother. He told her that Christine apologized to him for not telling him about his daughter. She kept May for so long, and she didn't know how to go back from that. She also asked him to take care of May. After all this, Isik has forgiven Christine and tells May that her mother loved her in her way. While May was packing to leave, she picked up and started to read the final part of her letter. In the letter, May describes how she put her love into work, and her photographs and pictures took the space in her heart instead of people. She wishes that she had put as much courage into being a mother as she was able to put into her work. May cries after finishing the letter and meets her father, the one who raised her, and talks to him. He admitted no knowing about Isak but didn't tell her because her mother made him promise and he apologized for it. Then, he tells her how he met her mother for the first time. Christine was three months pregnant when she met him, and initially she rejected him because she thought he was feeling sorry for her. But he didn't give up on her because he understood she was probably hung up on Isak. May's father also tells her about a time when her mother didn't show up at the airport to say goodbye when she left for college. Instead, Christine was crying at the back of the house. Christine was never really good at goodbyes. Meanwhile, Michael says his final goodbye to his colleagues at the Republic, while May goes through her mother's archive one more time before it is displayed at the museum where she works. She receives a package from another archive, a recording of Christina being interviewed by another person. In the video, Christine says she was as good at love as she was at working, and she wishes she hadn't left people behind as often. This video leads May to reach out to Michael. While working in London, Michael receives an invitation from May to see a Kendrick Lamar concert with a note. They meet up in New 
New York, where May finally confesses her feelings for him, and they vow to work things out despite the distance. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.